In this video, I'm detailing the top five costly mistakes that new recruiting agency owners make. Make sure that you stay tuned so that you can ensure that it's not you. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Natasha, the business recruiter. Welcome back to my channel. I am jumping right into this video with mistake number five, which is trying to scale too quickly. When you're just getting off of the ground and you're starting to see some level of success, there's this huge urge to go from step one to step 100 and skip all of those steps in between. In terms of starting your own recruiting agency, this usually looks like securing a couple contracts and then immediately wanting to hire on additional staff. And in some situations, this can make sense. However, in most situations, you're just setting yourself up for more headaches in the beginning than what you really need to take on. Focus on building your business, understanding your workflow, your systems, and your processes before you go on adding additional staff and trying to scale too fast. Mistake number four is taking on unnecessary expenses. I don't know about you, but when I started my recruiting agency, I didn't necessarily have a ton of money to actually invest in it. So I had to be very strategic about what I chose to take on in terms of expenses and when I chose to take it on. So with that being stated, you wanna really think about what it is that you need in order to get your agency off the ground. Do you really need the premium version of LinkedIn or can you get by with a free version for a while? Do you really need to purchase that expensive CRM or can you get by with using Excel? Do you need to add a new phone line just for your business or can you get by for a bit with just using a Google number? While it may seem small, all of these things are important to think about and can definitely add up over time. Now, mistake number three is having no systems or processes in place. This is something that I always encourage new recruiting agency owners to think about from day one of you starting your agency. How will you go about structuring and executing your email campaigns? How will you keep track of potential clients that you've contacted or even potential candidates? If you got a signed contract today, how are you gonna go about executing that search? All of these questions can be answered with simply having processes and systems in place to make your life so much easier. And it's better for you to think about it from day one than wait till day 90 and start to put those processes or systems in place. Now, mistake number two is not being open to seek out help. Some people may think that they know enough in order to get started or even shun the idea of having a mentor. For me, I knew that in order for me to be successful, I had to not only invest in my business, but also invest in myself. Looking back, I felt like me investing in a mentor made all the difference in me being able to see success so quickly. While I had an extensive background already, working with a mentor allowed me to gain tips and tricks on different things to avoid. It helped me to understand how to focus on the important aspects of my business. And it also allowed me to have the opportunity to have a sounding board in those moments where I felt really defeated. The truth is you're not going to know everything. And if you're able to invest in a mentor, I would definitely encourage that you do it. It may make all the difference in how fast you're able to be successful. And if you're still with me and have found this video to be helpful, then be sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button as well as that bell so that you can get notified of all of my new videos that drop each week. And finally, mistake number one is not being consistent. Your lack of consistency is costing you thousands of dollars in potential revenue. And this mistake is considered to be number one because it can start to affect how you view yourself as a business owner. So not only does it affect you financially, but it can also start to affect you psychologically as well. That lack of consistency can have you believing that you can't do it or that starting a recruiting agency is too hard or that you don't have what it takes in order to be a successful recruiting agency owner. And all of these things are simply not true. It's your lack of consistency and effort that's ultimately causing you to believe these things and essentially set yourself up to believe that you can't be a successful recruiting agency owner. While there are some overnight success stories that are out there, it's important to know that that's not the norm. It's gonna take hard work as well as time in order to get to the point that you want to. So give yourself some grace as well as some patience in understanding that. And those moments where you're feeling like it's hard or it's just not working, continue to push through and be consistent anyways. Ultimately, your ability to push through those difficult moments and be consistent are gonna determine how successful you're able to be as a recruiting agency owner. Well, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then be sure to give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.